Hi, my name's Haley. Some of you might know me from my Instagram account, Ghosted1996, where I've been making memes the past six years, mostly about my personal experiences in life. And I also share research, which is a loose term, basically just information that I've gathered or accidental discoveries that have really improved my life and the mental health and physical health conditions that I deal with. So if you don't know me, nice to meet you. Today I'm going to be talking about what I think is the most important thing that I've discovered that has ended up spreading all over the internet and that I think is really important and needs to be spread and talked about. So I have premenstrual dysphoric disorder, among other things, although the premenstrual part is misleading because it can affect you whenever your hormones fluctuate. MDD is really complex and I'm not going to be going over the ideology of it in this video. Um, but there's likely an interplay going on between altered GABA transmission, serotonin availability, inflammation, and genetic and epigenetic alterations to all of these pathways that ends up just causing a severe hormonal sensitivity to your own hormones, um, but also to hormones outside of your body. So birth control, hormone therapy, etc. It can get worse with age, with traumatic life experiences, and in my experience, after physical illness. So if any of this sounds familiar to you, I would highly recommend tracking your symptoms to see if they have a cyclic predictability. Treatment options are scarce, mainly being birth control and antidepressant drugs, which do have a good rationale for use, but don't work for everyone. And research into the condition is scarce as well. Since the treatments offered to me by doctors and traditional medicine were not improving my quality of life very much, although some of them did, I've mostly taken matters into my own hands with herbs, supplements, psilocybin, and what I'm going to be discussing in this video, which is the over-the-counter medication Pepsid, or generic famotidine. I discovered accidentally that famotidine treats PMDD in early 2021, and I shared this information with my 110,000 followers on my now-deleted meme account, not really expecting anyone else to try it, but by now I've received hundreds and hundreds of grateful DMs, so I'm just trying to spread this information as far as possible. It's a heartburn medication that reduces stomach acid through a different type of histamine receptor than traditional antihistamines. It works through the H2 receptor instead of the H1, although allergy medications do seem to work for some people too, maybe for the same reasons as famotidine or maybe different ones. I'll describe why I think famotidine works later in this video and include screenshots of anecdotal reports of it working for people, um, although many of them were lost on my now deleted meme account, which was deleted for hate speech against men. But I've been collecting them for over a year, and at this point there's no doubting that famotidine absolutely works for PMDD and maybe for some other conditions as well. So PMDD is complex and difficult. The hormonal sensitivity for me is not all bad because at times it can cause periods of almost frenetic euphoria, but it's always short-lived until the next day I wake up and the entire sensory input of the world becomes wrong. Um, everything feels bad. States of agitation, anxiety, desolation, and fatigue just kind of converge and fluctuate <clears throat> throughout the month. But there are windows of normalcy, that, and they're so clear that it seems like there's some switch that we should be able to flip on. Early 2021, the first time I went off hormonal birth control and noticed an improvement in my overall depression, my cycle returned along with the cyclical extremes. But I had relief now too, normalcy. So I was conflicted about what to do. I had been on birth control for much of the time that I'd been menstruating. I'd tried many different kinds, but none of it had really offered me real relief and frequently made my depression worse. One morning I had to go to the DMV to get a new license, but I really did not want to go um, because as usual, I was suicidal and agitated and anxious and panicked. I get really agoraphobic when it's bad. I just don't want to leave the house. I'd been having heartburn, so I'd bought Pepsid to treat it and I took a Pepsid and then found myself getting in the car and going to the DMV. And then by the time I got there, I noticed that there wasn't that head in my voice that was telling me to end it all anymore. And I was bewildered. And so I was thinking what this could have been. And I remembered that I posted a question sticker on my Instagram story asking my followers if they had any PMDD suggestions because I'd tried everything. And someone had mentioned antihistamines. And famotidine isn't an antihistamine in the traditional sense, like I mentioned, but it is of the same class technically. So could it have been the famotidine or was it a coincidence? But like, it didn't seem like a coincidence because the relief was so insanely dramatic. I looked online for information about it having central nervous system effects. And I did find something in a, in a case study about famotidine improving schizophrenia in a man who was again, taking it for heartburn for unrelated reasons and found that his 
positive and negative symptoms improved. So that validated that maybe it was real. I decided to experiment. I don't remember how long it took, but it wasn't very long because of how dramatic and, and swift the relief was. The rule on the PMDD subreddit on Reddit is that you try a treatment for three months before you report your results because PMDD can fluctuate throughout the month as well as over various cycles, often with some uh, amount of predictability. As soon as I was sure this worked, I posted about it on my Instagram account because I was mostly desperate to know if anyone else would try it, but I really didn't think anyone would. But someone tried it and it worked for them. I posted a screenshot of their DM reporting my reporting their experience and this has quickly become a regular thing. People sending me DMs and me screenshotting them and posting it to my story with the, with the command to please check out my famotidine highlight you have PMDD. Eventually this information spread to the PMDD subreddit where people began recommending antihistamines as an over-the-counter treatment, sometimes specifically famotidine and sometimes just regular allergy medications which seem to work for people too but only certain ones apparently. People suffering from this under-research and neglected condition began openly theorizing about its biological origins which was really magical to me sharing information about histamine and brainstorming other ways to tamp down this inflammation storm that happens in their bodies every month, likening it to an allergic response, which I think is probably not far off. If you have a systemic hormonal sensitivity, it makes sense that inflammation would result from your fluctuations. So although we obviously need clinical studies to figure out why specifically famotidine works, I think there's some really complex activity going on and potentially with allergy medications as well. At first, I did think it was because of its activity at histamine receptors, but I tried cimetidine, which is an identical medication, brand name Tagamet, and it did nothing. So that led me to believe that it was an off-target effect, along with the fact that just the magnitude of relief I experienced didn't seem like it was it was possible that it was just one neurotransmitter system that was having this effect. This is also demonstrated with allergy medications where people on the subreddit report different effects with various ones. I've also had this experience trying allergy medications, although for me they do not work as well or for as long as famotidine does. I recommend searching antihistamine in the PMDD subreddit to check this information out for yourself. There's lots of stuff there. I'm not entirely sure why the regular allergy medications work for people, but of the ones that do, I wonder if there is a similar mechanism or also other off-target immune effects or anti-inflammatory effects besides the antihistaminergic effects. So it's been almost a year and a half since I first posted about famotidine, and since then some interesting studies have come out about its off-target pharmacological activity, most strikingly that it stimulates the vagus nerve. I'm not really qualified to teach any science topic, but in my opinion, the vagus nerve kind of can act like a master switch on inflammation, gut function, and maybe even the expression of our genes. It's a bi-directional nerve that runs from the brain down the neck into every major organ system and then back up into the brain. Since inflammatory markers don't cross the blood-brain barrier very easily, the vagus nerve is responsible for sensing sickness in the body or inflammation and transmitting this information to the brain. Inflammation usually causes changes in behavior like fatigue or malaise, but in a study of mice injected with E. coli, only the mice with an intact vagus nerve even acted like they were sick at all, meaning that the nerve is responsible for communicating this. In severe refractory depression, in very rare cases, devices are implanted into the neck to electrically stimulate the vagus nerve directly, influence central nervous system activity, the production of neurotransmitters, the growth of new neurons and synapses, and also probably modulate the immune system. Scientists at the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research revealed that famotidine suppresses the cytokine storm in COVID-19 that causes much of the severe inflammation-related damage of the illness in mice through a vagal nerve-mediated cholinergic mechanism, increasing survival of the disease. So this is pretty crazy and validates what I've experienced and what I've seen others report, which is dramatic and rapid and seemingly miraculous relief, almost like a switch being flipped. I don't want this to be too long or complex as this is my first video, but other conditions that famotidine might possibly treat based on anecdotal reports are obviously PMDD, but also hormone therapy induced dysphoria like an HRT, migraines, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, and endometriosis. 
I think epigenetic effects via the vagus nerve might be central to the way that it is therapeutic in all of these conditions by overriding an increased sensitivity to environmental triggers. I'm not officially diagnosed with endometriosis yet, but I have a lot of pain and suggestive symptoms that famotidine can dramatically alleviate in hours, including a shortness of breath that nothing else really helps. Because what famotidine can seemingly do is change the way my brain responds to hormones, drugs, and pain itself. And if it's not altering hormone levels, which have a massive influence on the experience of drugs and inflammation, is it changing the way my genes express themselves in response to these things? I think it's highly possible that this over-the-counter heartburn medication is changing the way my brain and body handle stress in tandem. When I take famotidine, I feel the pain, fog, fatigue, and emotional dysregulation recede like someone is physically rewinding the stress. If I drink too much coffee on a bad day and I feel the symptoms of endometriosis ramping up, causing an entire constellation of pain and discomfort, famotidine can literally reverse this. I usually take 20 milligrams, although 10 also works, but it feels like 20 is more effective for me. The amount of time the effects last is variable, but I would estimate it's eight to 12 hours, at which point I usually take another one because I want to keep the inflammation down, especially knowing this. I've checked with my doctor about safety and drug interactions, which you should always do before starting anything, even over the counter. This is not medical advice. This is just me sharing my experience and the experience of others who've shared their experience with me. Please do not sue me if anything happens to you because of Pepsid, okay? Um, everything I've talked about is linked in the description, along with my new Instagram account, ghosted1996, with an underscore, again, because my old one was deleted for hate speech against men. Please follow me there, and check out all my highlighted information, I have all of this there too. And if you have any friends that this could be useful information for, like if you know, you know, Laura's due for her period and she's texting me KMS, send her this fucking video.